Hello everyone. Guess what time it is? It is t well, okay, yeah, the title already spoiled it. But this is a game made by Yacht Club Games. Frankly, you should be able to know what Shovel Knight is. If you don't know what Shovel Knight is, well, we're about to find out. Game seems to be running a tad bit slow, or seems to be loading a tad bit slow. I'm stuck on the Yacht Club screen. <laughs> or not. Okay, that was kind of weird. Shovel Knight, what's this game all about? I had time to check it out uh, for a few moments while I had guests here, and basically old school as hell. Now, I'm not gonna use the game I started, but as soon as I started, it just sucked me in for an hour, and there's more and more and more. Ooh, this is interesting. This is quite interesting. The controls are messing up. Sometimes it's giving me PlayStation props, and Derek just gave me Xbox Pro. Okay, well that's a tad bit of a random glitch. Doesn't matter. What's my name? Well, I'll put the channel name. Wait, I gotta be 100% le legit here. Uh, I can't tell you how old school this game is. I can't tell you how much awesomeness is hidden within, you know? But you get an old school story. And of course, I'm not gonna read the whole thing for you. You can read? Seriously, you can read, right? Anyway. In general, I can make a small resume. Shovel Knight, Shield Knight, best friends forever. And then, shit hit the fan. Terrible curse. You know, Tower of Fate. Terrible magic. Shield Knight disappeared. And the tower just got sealed. So basically, you kind of had a Castlevania experience, but you lost your best friend. <laughs> At this point, you just went like, mm, I am going to be a hermit. In the mountains. A life of solitude. But then... This happened. That's right. The Order of No Quarters. I guess it's about time to get back on the field. Or something like that. No, no, it's exactly like that. It's time to get back on the field. How does this game control? Oh, man. You wouldn't believe it if I told you. Forward attack. Down attack just by jumping and aiming down. And that's about it. You figure out the rest. Oh, right, right. Shovels. That's right. With a shovel, you can, well, shovel the ground. And shovel enemies. Of course, bonus stuff. Hidden all over the place. So, this is a type of game that, that will make you kind of go crazy. To try and track down the, all those secrets. And do some epic moves at the same time, but mostly trying to track down those secrets. They're quite well hidden, too. Some of them are obvious, but a lot of them are quite uh, hidden in a nifty zone. This, never knew how to do it at the first time. Well, okay, I did. Uh, another interesting feature is this is a checkpoint. I can sacrifice it. If I feel gutsy... Oh. Oh, I can on the first one? Interesting. Okay, well, usually you sh you'd be able to sacrifice it to either get more... Well, to get more gold, yet you would lose your checkpoint. At that point, you're gambling. You're straight up gambling. Should I lose a checkpoint for more money? Or should I just <laughs> should I just use my checkpoint? Uh, no, it's quite a fun system. And here's the dragon. Oh right, fastest way to beat this dragon: just jump on top of it. Also, I gotta watch out. I've only got four hits. 
I love the fact that you can actually use the skeleton heads against the skeletons. How does that work? It just does. It's like asking me, why is a shovel so powerful? It's because I'm a shovel knight. Also, pay attention to those little blocks. You know the blocks I just hit to have this whole thing destroyed? Ow. Okay, I gotta pay attention to the enemies too. But when it comes to those blocks, there will be certain areas where it'll be a, you know, it's a bit obvious that there's a possible secret here. Got rid of that just like that. And these kind of areas are spurned out throughout the game. It is lovely. It's, it's the kind of game that is just here to give. Also, take your life if you mess up with some of these uh, sections, but it'll give. It'll give. It's the game that just gives. It gives you a lot of things to shovel, too. See, you can actually say you shoveled a dragon in your lifetime. Oh. I gotta be careful. You see that little block there? There we go. I can easily, or it's a kind of game that will easily attempt to sucker you to destroy everything. And make you miss a lot of things, you know? And hey, that's quite old school. If you miss it, okay, well, try to redo the level. <laughs> Too bad, so sad, right? You can't know all the secrets on the first run. Unless you're cheating and using an FAQ or you're the game dev. Okay, I think I can destroy this. Nope. Okay, on intro level, I can't just gamble my, uh... Gamble my fucking checkpoint. <laughs> I guess that makes sense. They don't want to mess around the players, or they don't want to have the players mess them... Mess themselves around. Well, I figure out which one's the actual real hidden area. I think it's the one over there. Hop over this dragon. Ah, there we go. See, you can smell secret area when you see the difficulty spike. When I mean difficulty spike, I mean if I miss that jump, I am dead. <laughs> if I make the small mistake of saying, hmm, maybe I shouldn't just do my pogo attack. Oh, wait, no, it's good. Then I'm dead. Oh, wait a second. Wait a minute. Oh, checkpoint. Okay, so that's definitely the place where I need to go. Ooh, nearly got me there. Nearly suckered me up on this. Now, frankly, I just took a wild guess seeing that there was a ladder upstairs. Love the fact that I can just try shit out. Hidden treasures, mm, all mine. You'll see what happens with money later on, but uh, yeah, this this is the game that just gets you. I still can't break these. Ah oh, man, okay, I'll show you later on. Let's just continue. Try to farm some of those spells. Well, not really spells. Not really spells, just those dragons. Okay, do I have anything else? Oh boy. And there you do not want to miss your jump. You do not want to miss your jump. You do miss your jump. Yeah, see what I mean? <laughs> Now, what happens there is I can actually get back that gold. <laughs> That's messed up. That's horrible. I feel shitty. And I don't get gold for these. Why? Because my gold's already stacked over there. <laughs> oh, man. Jump timer. Jump timing. At least I can get it back while taking hits. I gotta do the paranoid jump. Oh, 
And I lost all that gold I could have acquired. Shady. Oh, wow. Okay, well, this is not starting off well. Not starting off well at all. And this is this Dark Soul moment where I'm just here to blitz true. There we go. This is the Dark Souls moment where I'm just here to blitz true. Screw that. I'll take the hit. Ah, not giving me a thing, at least an apple. And this guy's... Well, there you go. Oh, and I just can't seem to... Yeah, you can't double jump in the air. That was a trap. Oh, wow! This is starting out quite well. At least skip these. They're not giving me squad. Screw you. I think I can skip the dragon. Let's just go for that. Skip the dragon. See you later. And you're gonna jump to your doom. Welcome to your doom. Okay, got the gold. Small precision jump. That was quite bad. Oh well. All this just to cancel my hop. And then, alright, let's go back to it. And I see you. I see you both. All three of you. Gonna make all that gold back. Uh, but first, let me shovel that dirt. There we go. Give me some extra. Okay, and of course, timing jump. Why? You'll see. Bonus area. Ah, man, those precision jumps! This is the kind of game where you just get into that I'm gonna sit down mode and get shit cleared. Talking at the same time may be a risk, but it doesn't matter. Can I break this? No. Still not on the intro level. Yeah, sure. At least I got some floor chicken. Oh shit. It's the Black Knight. Let's not even think about Sonic and the Black Knight for now. Sonic Boom just kind of went for the pinnacle of assery. Funny enough, apparently I have no quarrel with the Black Knight. Hmm. And apparently those knights are invincible. Yeah, sure. Why? <laughs> Anyone goes through me! Ah. All right, first boss. Oh, okay. Jeez. I'm taking too many risks. Oh, wow. Okay. Let me give you a counter hit on that. Really? Oh, okay. Taking way too many risks, but yeah, it's a fun boss. Plus, I do get a thousand gold. So guess what? That was worth it. And now he's running away. That's right. Run to your enchantress. She'll never be like Shield Knight. Oh, I remember the days with Shield Knight. Of course, uh, when I mean that. 
small dream sequences. That's one cool thing that, spli that was spliced in the game where they do make you feel for the fact that you've lost your, uh, you've lost your best friend. Oh! <laughs> I did not just use my shovel on her, but I caught her. And of course, I might as well shovel my fire out. Extra stuff. <laughs> what happens if I go there? Well, I just exit the point. So well, that's good. So that was Shovel Knight level 1. You can already see what kind of game this is. And of course you get a Mario style map. Mario, Mario Tree? Uh, Mario Tree, Mario 1. More so Mario Tree. I don't think Mario 1 had a map. Anyhow, no weapons, right? Oh, apparently a shovel's not a weapon. Yeah, sure. And I can talk to everyone, so... Welcome to town. Uh, what's this town all about? Well, first, there's the bard. Whenever I find the e-music sheet, I can send it to him, and he's gonna give me $500. Uh, now I've got the song of the Black Knight. And he can perform this song right now. So, let's see. Enter the arena. I think that's the one. Anyhow, when it comes to these two, I can buy meal tickets to get more HP, which is something I will go for right now. Seeing the first one is free. Well, we could say free. Uh, it's only a thousand dollars. Let me tell you, it gets way more expensive afterwards. A couple of things I want to do at the beginning, at the base. Uh, one is getting that HP buff, so I'm at least at five <laughs> five chunks of HP. Number two is going to be some sp getting spells. I don't know how much that is. Um, actually, getting a vial is quite critical as well. So with the vial, I can access or I can go to another area uh, in order to get spells. Now, I don't have the fireball spell yet, so it's not really worth it. Let me get my second vial. Two vials, I get two times the... Well, you'll see. When it comes to vials, it, it works a bit Zelda style. Where I'm gonna get to an area... Oh, and they're just talking about everyone else. Apparently, King Knight is a really cool guy. I think he's a douche, but whatever. Kind witch. I'm not a witch. She still looks like a witch. Um, so when it comes to the vials, works like Zelda. When I basically visit a specific area, I can fill those vials up with either all health or uh, just either, well, all health and magic. Or I can go for, uh, wow, I forgot what the other one was. Well. Well, let's just ignore that now. Oh, I can go on top of her. Okay, well, perfect. I want to get that thing upstairs. I don't know if you noticed. More money. Okay, let's get it. Let's get out. Let's let's get to that second level. Actually, wait. I first have to show you what I mean by the vials. Got to get those vials first. Now you get them from a giant fish. That's right, a giant fish. Of who I ask, eat me! Let's see, I gotta choose it wisely so I can have health regeneration, invincibility for 10 seconds, or absorbing, kind of like the sonic, rem uh, sonic ring effect, absorbing all rings. I'm gonna double down on the health and magic. Mostly because I'm at 5 health. And, of course, they have to do a dance. I can't skip it. But it is quite hilarious. I mean, just look at that.
that face. Now, funny enough, you can ask him to do the dance again, but this is the first time he'll do it automatically. The other times, you just take whatever and go. <laughs> he wanted to show the dance of his people. I guess that's part of it. Okay, let's go go after King Knight. Now the difficulty spikes a tad bit higher. Why? Different level, different specs, if you know what I mean. Um, when it comes to finding out hidden places, well, basically, it's gonna look different. And I just lost that. I'm gonna be cheap for, uh, cheap for all those extra and bonuses. Let's see. New enemies. And of course, new hazard. For a second there, I thought I could make it. Hmm. I don't know, I'm a bit paranoid here. Ah, come on. Let's go. This is one of those times where you're just sitting down and focused. Alright, new enemy type. The flying badges. All those blue orbs you see me miss or collect, uh, basically that is for magic. If I had magic spells... Damn. If I had magic spells, that would at least give me some magic points. But I don't. Too bad. New enemy type, spellcasters. They're not that troublesome. So, fuck them. <laughs> Except on those, when they have the high ground, they can be a bit troublesome. Just a bit. But aside from that, they're not that much of a problem. Unless you stack them. Dare to get to be a barrage of bullshit. Hey, just like any time you have a ranged enemy, stack three of them up, and they are your worst enemy. Okay, this I can break. So there, I just jeopardized my, uh, well, I kind of just jeopardized my checkpoint in order to get more gold. And you can do that. If you're confident enough, you can pull that off. Or if you know the level. Okay. These enemies are actual knights. So he knows how to fight. Ow. And he's the one that's going to block my upward jump. So, yeah, I have to beat him in a fair fight. Or I could bait him, but anyhow, let's go. There's multiple techniques to this character, though. Oh, right, right, right. There we go. Had to use them as a bounce patch. And I think I can sacrifice this uh, as well. Yeah. If it's not protected, then I can sacrifice it. The one I'm gonna leave up is going to be um, the boss, the pre-boss thing. Funny enough, I can climb on top of these before they fall. Wow! Damn it! That's bad. <laughs> I should have just took the hit. Now to be a, a tad bit more careful. Oof. Okay. As for this little enemy, come on. Do your thing. Oh. Okay, well that wasn't the way to do it. Here's the way I guess I have to do it. There you go. <laughs> I have absolutely no clue what is over there. I've tried. Maybe I have to have the position. I'll give it one more try. Oof. Okay. Oh. I had to press down. What is this? Okay, this is gonna be interesting. 
This is going to be quite interesting. I only have two to go up and two to go back. Ugh, oh, give me all that treasure. What? Uh, sure? Ooh, fireball. Sure, that's gonna help. Thanks. Hmm. Okay. I didn't expect that. Ugh. Oh, I hate those jumps. I really hate those jumps. You really have to be precise here. <laughs> okay, well this was fascinating. Now to try and make the trip back. That? Okay. I'll take that. If I'm able to access the shopkeeper at random points during this... Okay. I'll, uh... Take it into consideration. Now, my one question is, where do I need to go? Because I'm not actually sure if I need to go upstairs or downstairs. Oh, there we go. That's the room. On my first run of that area. Oh. That was clutch. <laughs> On my first run of the area, I kind of got messed over and I didn't properly trigger that point. I just broke everything. Ooh, that was a lucky guess. Sometimes you just have to take some guesses. I like this. I really do. And I just skipped over my own checkpoint. Okay, so this is progression forward. What if I go back down? Because there are treasures back down. Okay. Maybe I won't be able to achieve back upstairs. Just maybe. I think I did the same mistake. Ah! Okay, no. I'm good. <laughs> Wait! Don't fall down. Don't ruin it. Oh, great. I can cancel. That's good. Now, for once, I'm actually going to take that checkpoint. Uh, or, or... No, no. Same difference. Even if I skip it. I could always gamble it, but nah, let's, uh, let's not. Let's not risk it. Not at this point. <laughs> you at least have to take one checkpoint. Oh, crap. There we go. Brute force that thing. Get the chicken. And there's two checkpoints. Can I just go back and break the other one? Yeah? Yeah, I can. Hey, checkpoint. F you. Give me that money. <laughs> Getting to be greedy. Last thing I would want just to be able to fall into that pit by overconfidence. That'd be horrendous, but horrendously funny. Or also having the mistake of just hitting those badgers, but then hitting them too close to, um... Oh wow, this is kind of bad. Hitting them too close to the checkpoint. Oh, hey, 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 wait a second. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Lower. Ah! There we go. What do I get here? Ah, yes. Different area. Have to be a bit careful. Well, not that careful. Just time. Also, this will make you fall down. <laughs> That's right. It's a 
this is where you fall down moment. Of course, do I get bonus stuff here? Over here? I do. It's all about the jump timing. It's to be quite lovely after a while. Uh, and this area is blocked. Okay, sure. And there you go. Bonus treasure acquired. Now, just to be paranoid, just shoveling the sides. No, nothing? Okay, well, paranoia. Didn't expect him to respond. Don't know why. Maybe it's too soon. Alright, now for those badgers. Go, give me some of that magic bag. I think I have maximum HP. Oh, get some of those hidden diamonds. Uh, now for a bit of bullshit. I think I should be able to make that previous jump. I think. There we go. Nothing here? Okay, perfect. And I'm losing this diamond. Whatever. Let me just shovel some dirt here. And let me just go Zelda 2 on you. Shovel you against the floor. Ah, uh, the wall. There we go. These do give a lot of HP. Um, not HP. Lots of diamonds. It's lovely. This area looks too... There we go. Looks too clean. Something's wrong. And of course, I can just farm out whatever... Sh whatever little diamonds I can get here. It's not too bad for now. Uh, okay. This is an area that's just quite a piss off. Well, not exactly this area, but... You know what I mean. Ah, you don't. Sorry. Oof, okay. Kind of wanted that one too bad. Or wanted that one badly. Ah, and I threw fireballs, my bad. Okay, this area is a piss off. If I fucked over that checkpoint, I'd be doomed. Doomed, I tell you. You want to jump? And nor do I know what would actually be downstairs. No! And there you go. Fucked by the hitbox. Now, to try and recover that gold... Well, I just did. Oof. Okay. Ah, you... Can't get away from it. But at least I can get the hidden gold. And I really thought this would bounce me higher. Whatever. Sometimes you just don't want to expect stuff like that. You again. There we go. Ah! Oh, second time, that's right. Get some more chicken. Okay, final checkpoint. Don't break it. Actually, I could. You know what? Screw it. I need more gold. When it comes to the boss, just don't... Just don't worry. Now we get to face King Knight. He is supposed to be a king. He's not even a real king. Of course, fabulous regal self, yada yada yada. He's here to prepare some... <laughs> yeah, whatever, let's just beat him. 
He's a jumper. Oh, right. He does that. Oh, yeah, he's one of those jumpers. Oh, and also this adds confetti attacks. So I, I gotta out DPS him at this point. <laughs> Just fucking out damage him and call it a day. Alright. Shovel Knight is fucking nuts. It's old school. It's a classic already. It requires your Twitch reflexes. And again, you do have small scenes like this, because after a good fight, you have to get some rest. And then shovel the campfire up. <laughs> like that. Get some of that extra gold. So the power of a shovel. All that in a simple game. I'll see you guys next time. Because seriously, man, there's more shoveling going on. Fucked over King Knight already. And here, extra fight.